All right, what up, Gamecock fam? It's your boy, J-Rock. Meant to get this video up yesterday uh, after the game, but I had some stuff come up because uh, I had other videos I wanted to make this weekend as well, uh, but I got tied up in some things, so I uh, didn't get to do everything I wanted to, so I apologize for that, but I'll, uh, I'll try to make things happen uh, this upcoming week. So, again, sorry about that, uh, but this is just going to be, you know, kind of quick not going to take too long on this but uh just going to give you my reaction to the to the Vanderbilt game from yesterday um so we come out with the uh we come out with a pretty big win there 41 to 7 um which we needed uh and now you know like I tell everybody I, I respect all opponents and and stuff and, and it's, it's not a cockiness or an arrogance thing but in my mind coming into that game what we really needed to do was win this one big. That's what really puts it down as a win for us. I mean, we could have won by three points, and technically that's still a win, and I still would have been okay with that because at the end of the day, what you really want, you know, is just a win. But had we kind of uh, allowed Vanderbilt to do more and let them stick around and, you know, and if we would have won the game by a lot closer of a margin – it wouldn't have been really much of a win, uh, in my opinion, because we needed to make a statement in this game. Because you look at the last two weeks on how close we were to beating both Tennessee and Florida, we needed to come out and make a statement. You know, this couldn't be a you know a twenty to seventeen game. Um, you know, we really had to show that we were better than, than Vanderbilt. And like I said, that's no. That's no disrespect to Vanderbilt. I'm not taking a shot at them. I mean, it is what it is. I mean, programs, you know, you have your high, your lows. There's times when you're not good. I mean, just a couple years, you know, like, you know, recent years, I mean, we've had horrible seasons where we just haven't been good. Um, and, you know, and uh, Vanderbilt is just in a low spot right now. So we really needed a, uh, a big win yesterday um, for it to really kind of feel like a win, if, if you get what I'm saying with that. Um, at least in my opinion. So, uh, but anyways, uh, analyzing the game real quick. So let's start off with the things that I like. Man, I loved uh, the rushing performance by the team as a whole. Uh, Kevin Harris, man, I'm telling you, man, that 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 guy's gonna be something. Uh, he he he's gonna be something good. Let me tell you. Uh, I think he's gonna have a good career at uh, at South Carolina. So, you know, he's still got at least a couple years in front of him. So, you know, including this season. So, I, I, I foresee him having a, having a good career here at, uh, at South Carolina. And call it a hunch, but I think there's one team that needs to go ahead and take note, uh, and that's Georgia. Because we all know Georgia has struggled against our good running backs in the past. I mean – they still have nightmares of Lattimore. Um, you know, uh, Mike Davis did fairly well against them too in his time. Uh, but and, and I think against all the opponents that we got left, I, I think Davis is truly going to be a weapon for us. Uh, also, you know, Fenwick and Zaquandre uh, White, uh, I'm still impressed by them. I think, I mean, I, I, can't, I can't say it enough, man. I love this whole stable of backs. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of all of them. I'm liking what I'm seeing from all of them, and it makes me feel good because I know we've got depth at that position. It just shows that, you know, we can rotate the guys in and out. So, I mean, you know. Uh, Colin Hill, man, shout out to him, man. Uh, love seeing him get two scores on the ground. I mean, and it seems like it – Seems like he's getting more comfortable now. I think that's giving him some confidence. Where if he sees things open, he, he'll run with it. And see, this is what I like about Colin Hill. I mean, and and some of you guys out there can talk trash about him. You can say, oh, you think he's mediocre, or you know, he's just not good. He's not athletic enough. You know, whatever you want to criticize him for. But here's one thing I got to give this guy, man. You think about the first week against Tennessee where he threw the pick six. Okay, and he's taking care of the ball like in this week you know yesterday yesterday's game no interceptions so he's put a focus on that you know on, on, on not doing that anymore and then you look at last week where at the end he had a chance to run it in for uh into the end zone for a touchdown 
instead of trying to you know throw it you know on the run to the smith you know to shy uh you know he could have just run it in and and so this week he he improves upon that by seeing that there was something open um and he runs it in and he gets a score so that's what i like about about this guy is he sees where he can do things better and so the next week out and going forward he goes out there and he tries to correct it and he, he tries to do it do it better so I, I love that out of a player especially at quarterback so you know so shout out to him you know i mean he's still no dual threat but Nice to see him get a couple, you know, a couple runs there, and you know, pick up a little bit of uh, ground with his feet. And like I said, I think that just feeds into his overall confidence. So I think that's that's good for him. Man, DK comes off the bench, one play, touches the ball one time, long long run touchdown. I mean, look, I'm gonna say this again. And and as it stands right now, now I think Colin Hill should be our starter. Yeah, you know, it's mainly because of his experience with with you know Mike Bobo's scheme and just the fact that I mean he he, he is he's he's a pretty good quarterback. So I think he's our best option at, at starter. And this is no offense to Ryan. I, I like Ryan. You know I, <clears throat> I mean I you know I, I like Ryan. It's nothing against him, um, and it's nothing against Doty or anybody else, but. I really think our, you know, as our secondary quarterback, I would love to have DK. Some people may disagree with this, um, but I think DK being at receiver is a waste. It's a waste of his talent, a waste of his potential. And it's like I've told some people, I really think we should try to get him in uh, to some, you know, to some packages and stuff to where, you know, he can be an additional weapon for us. Because, you know, if we get in certain third down or, you know, or, you know, certain distance situations and stuff, we can put him in because he has the ability to run. He, you know, he, he can run the ball. and But he also has the capability to, you know, pass it if he needs to. So, I mean, he can, you know, he can give us more of a, a dynamic. Um, and he would be better at, you know, eluding pressure and you know scrambling and, and making something out of nothing and plus with the running backs that we've got man you talk about putting him you know back there to take the snap uh you know kind of get an option thing going there uh especially with how good our backs are i mean you're looking at something that's gonna you know give defenses just you know a very difficult time um and we need to be doing everything that we can to make things difficult for the defenses that we play so um, so moving forward, you know, moving on, uh, like I said, trying to make this a little bit quicker, uh, Nick Muse, proud of him today. He doesn't have the drops and stuff. He goes out there, he catches the ball like he's supposed to, he gets some blocks and stuff. So, uh, glad to see him, you know, kind of getting back to playing the way that he can. So, uh, you know, we'll get, got, you know, a couple catches and stuff, you know, glad to see some other guys got in there because, you know, you know, Vanderbilt kind of committed to doubling up on Shia and, and trying to limit him being able to get the ball. So glad some other guys were able to step up and get their hands on, you know, on the ball there and get some catches and make some plays for us. Um, so, you know, uh, offensively as a whole, I was pretty pleased with this game. Uh, with the exception of that first drive, uh, that was kind of shades of last year, that, you know, throw on every down, go three and out, you know, stuff. That's, you know, we – we need to stay away from that. Let's 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 not touch that with a ten foot pole. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's stay away from that. Let's stick to what will make us successful on offense. Um. So and now some things I didn't like offensively though. Um. It, you know, towards the end of the first half, I think we should have tried to have been more aggressive. You know, the guys really needed to get up on the ball faster because see, look, here's the thing. This is what I tell everybody, and you can have your own opinion, but I'm telling. you, if you go back and you look at it and you pay attention, all the, you know, Alabama, Clemson, you know, well, LSU last year, you know, all these teams that you see that win the championships that are so successful, you know what, you know what one thing is that they all have in common? And I've, I know I've probably said this in one of my previous videos. They don't let up. They're constantly trying to score. You know, they, they keep the, they keep the foot on the pedal. I mean, they go for your throat. 
they they don't care. They keep trying to score no matter what. Doesn't matter if they've only got 30 seconds to try to get something done. They I mean, they're trying to score because that's how you win. You have to be aggressive. Now you still have to play smart, but I mean, you know, I think I think it would help this team though if we just had a little bit more of a killer instinct because that will actually force other teams to respect you more. Okay, you're going to instill a little bit of fear in that other team because they're like, you know, these guys are going to, you know, we got to do something. These guys aren't going to stop. You know, they're they're trying to they're trying to get to the end zone. So, I think we need to continue to try to be a little bit more aggressive with that. So, uh but I mean, you know, like I said, that bad as a whole offensively. Um, I was pretty impressed. Defense, I think we still missed some 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 tackles and stuff. We definitely cleaned it up. And like I said, you know, in my preview of this game, of course we were going to look better in this game, you know, just because of who we were playing. But I did see some things, you know, we did a little bit better, you know, tackling and stuff. So I, I still see some improvements. Um, and, you know, and, and at the end of the day, I mean, I can't say much about our defense, you know, in a negative light because they did their job. They held, they held Van, Vanderbilt to only seven points. So, I mean, they, they did a good job. Um, like seeing all those guys get out there, uh, make plays. Uh, we, you know, Birch, he got in there. Uh, Cam Smith had the interception on the on the backup quarterback there. Um, Ernest Jones was a tackling machine. Uh, Shallow Sanders, he, he laid the wood on one guy. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm just proud of this defense uh, for their performance yesterday and like being able to see some of them younger guys get in and get some action. So, um overall very satisfied you know with the defense you know considering and uh just hope we continue to improve and do more uh going forward so you know like i said i mean i didn't expect vanderbilt to be much of a challenge like i said there's a difference between the caliber of talent and stuff that we have and you know and that of what they have so and i think you know the you know the final score that we were able to produce showed that so like I said, I'm happy with that. So now we just got to look forward to Auburn. Uh, I'll have my preview vid for that coming up sometime this week. Uh, Auburn, you know, I think this is going to be uh, a very winnable game for us. Um, so I and I, I look forward to uh, getting another win next weekend. But I'll go into more of that with, with my preview vid for that game. So just uh, be on the lookout for that. But, yeah, that's going to be it, man. Uh Gamecocks, you know, beat Vandy 41 to 7. And hey, I'm happy with it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, that's going to be it for now. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.